Mohammed have multiple wives, and is that a perfect example that it's okay to have multiple <coughs> wives? And okay, fine. So the question is about polygamy or polygyny, as we say, right? Multiple wives or so. It's important for us to know that before Islam was reintroduced in Arabia in the 7th century, people used to have unrestricted polygyny. People used to have multiple wives, no restriction by the way. Islam came to give restrictions. There is no religion that I can think of that in their scriptures, not later on by the church or the synagogue or their culture or constitution, there is no religion that I can think of, I could be wrong, that restricts the number of wife or wives. Unrestricted polygamy before Islam, you know, before Islam came to Arabia, women were treated as property, no rights. They were inherited, they were discarded to such an extent it was in the dark ages before Islam came there. Some of the baby girls, they were buried alive. That was the darkness before Islam came there. But after Islam came to Arabia, in the Quran and through Muhammad peace be upon him, women, they were uplifted from being property to being fully human, equal to man in the eyes of God. Number one. So it says in the Quran, chapter number four, verse number three, that Mary, two, three, or four, up to four by the way, but if you cannot do justice to them, marry only one. So under certain circumstances, in some Islamic states, it is given that option for the Muslim males. But me living in the US, I abide by the constitution. I cannot marry more than one. I have to abide by only marrying one because I have to listen to the rules of the land. So it's really important, even if a man marries more than one, they have to be treating equally to every single wife, up to four. But if they cannot do equality, marry only one. Number three important point on this polygyny issue. Polygamy is not introduced by Islam. Polygamy is always there all throughout history, by the way. You know, even if you look at the Old Testament, every single, almost every single prophet was polygamous. The greatest prophet of the Old Testament was Moses. Was he, did he marry only to one? More than one. Abraham, many. You know, King Solomon, it says in 1 Kings chapter 11, verse number 1, 2, and 3, he had 700 wives. No, no, what I'm saying is that there's not a single statement in the Old Testament that says, don't marry more than one. Polygamy is, has always existed. Islam came to restrict it. Even when you look at in the US, right? Forget about the Old Testament, the Quran, any religion. Even when you look at the US, according to Chicago Tribune, a poll was taken, a typical American male has seven extra, either premarital or extramarital affairs without any restriction. If the poor lady, the girl becomes pregnant, uh, he can just move out and then she has to raise single children. What Islam said is that if you're going to marry more than one, give 100% you're responsible for the children, for the women, for the clothing, share every single necessity. Compare it. Unrestricted number of extramarital affairs, unrestricted number of wives, no responsibility compared to what Islam said. 100% responsibility. If you cannot do justice, marry only one. This is doing justice to the widows, to the orphans, especially in the time of war. When a lot of males are killed, there's a surplus of women. Who's going to marry them? You know, if every single person we need, the warmth of a home, of a spouse, of children. We can give as much money, social security money and food stamps. That's, not, that's still not family, by the way. And many a times, uh, the, the children of a single parent household, they're close to 40% of this country, they have single parent household. And children of the single parent homes, they're more prone to getting sick, more prone to getting dropped out from the high schools. They're more prone to getting into guns and gangs and having lower IQ, and this uh, vicious cycle continues. What is the solution, by the way? The solution Islam gave. So we have to look at the wisdom of God. So again, Islam did not introduce polygamy, it only restricted it with the wisdom behind it, with 100% responsibility 
for the safety of the society.